Hi everyone! This is Eljora. I'm a lifestyle blogger who blogs for Eljora Muses. Today I'll be sharing with you my experience with menstrual cups. In case you guys do not know what menstrual cup is all about, um, it is simply a hygiene item that is shaped in the shape of a cup to contain fluids or um, blood. You know, when we have our period, when girls have our menses and period, um, it collects our blood rather than, you know, the conventional way of absorbing it using um, tampons or sanitary pads. So I shall touch on the benefits of using this menstrual cup because um, I've been using it for two cycles now and I'm really in love of it. And I think that most women should actually switch to using a menstrual cup when compared to a conventional sanitary pad or tampon. For me, sanitary pad is the best solution for the past many years of my life. I've been using a sanitary pad and I do not really like it because for certain brands like um, Whisper, I've been using it for like, you know, a few months and it caused me to have like diaper rashes. It isn't really fun and you'll be like itching all over and you'll feel so hot and stuffy down there and you know you might be like soaking wet because of the contact with the sanitary pad it just it's just not a fun idea to use it and for tampons right you might risk yourself getting toxic shock syndrome because of the adsorbency properties in it they, it contains a lot of chemicals to absorb your blood and you might get you know, bacterial infection, yeast infection due to it and it can be fatal. So for menstrual cups, they actually do not absorb your blood, it collects your blood. In Singapore's context, it is pretty hard for us to get menstrual cups available in our pharmacies. You tend to find sanitary pads or tampons in the pharmacies, but not menstrual cups. I think for Asian women, we are less receptive to um, inserting things into our vagina. I mean, it's like when I first got to hear about um, the menstrual cups, I was pretty skeptical because you know who would want to insert things underneath, right? Unless you're having sex. Yeah, but um, that's not the point. And um, it's pretty hard for you to get menstrual cups in Singapore because our pharmacies normally sell only sanitary pads or tampons but not menstrual cups. So I'm really fortunate to have met Panila from um, Chobu Cups. She's the lady boss behind Chobu Cups. She supplies and she sells menstrual cups to women in Singapore online. So please do check out her website on her chobu cups and she might have special promotions for you. So back to chobu cups. The brand um, is inspired by the Hokkien dialect chobu, which means um, pretty lady in Hokkien. So if you are using her menstrual cups, you will be a chobu. So every chobu should use chobu cups. So back to the Chobu cup, it is being packaged in a very nice, discreet, pink and black packaging. And it has like a small little pouch inside. Uh, let me open it. Yeah, it's a small, very discreet, small pouch in it, which contains the menstrual cup itself. This is how the menstrual cup looks like, with a stem at the bottom. And it contains like the instructions that you have to read before you use it if it's like your first time using it. This is made up of a medical grade silicone and you can dispose it every two years. Some might even use it for up to 10 years but it's not recommended due to hygiene purposes. Imagine how many sanitary pads and tampons you have to throw away in a year. So why not you just upgrade to a menstrual cup? And you know, save your troubles and your woes once and for all. It's like so eco-friendly, right?
Using the menstrual cup can be quite a challenge, especially when you are using it for the first time and you have no experience in using tampons. But rest assured, we all learn from our mistakes and through practice we will perfect it. So it took me like around two menstrual cycles to get used to it. Because for the first time I inserted it like in the wrong way, the menstrual cup did not open fully in my vagina. That's why there was some leakage and um, yeah, I stained my panties. So for the first time when you're using it, it will be advisable for you to use a panty liner to you know catch your blood in case it leaks from your menstrual cup. So before using it, you have to sterilize it in hot boiling water. It is um, recommended for you to you know soak in a pot of hot boiling water or maybe in a bowl of water and you microwave it for five minutes or so. And to insert the cup, do not be intimidated. You are not going to like insert it directly like this because it won't work for your vagina. <laughs> because your hole is like so small, right? How do you like you know insert it like that? So you have to fold it. The conventional way of folding it um, is the heart shaped fold where you press it into like in the middle and fold it like this. So it's like a heart shape. But for me this won't work because it's still too big for my vagina. So I have to like, you know, hold it down in the middle and pinch it down. So it's called a punch down fold. So it's like very small and you can just insert it like that. I'll demonstrate it again from the side view. I press this down in the middle and I pinch it. So it's like a lot smaller and you just insert it into your vagina like this. Oh, don't worry, it will fit into your vagina perfectly. Just like this. Once you have inserted, um, sorry, it's a bit hard to demonstrate with this bottle because there's a lot of friction going on. But for your vagina, you know you have those discharge and fluids in you that helps to lubricate the process. If not, you can buy a lubricator to you know, apply it onto your cup and slide it in. So once it's inside, because your vagina is like quite tight and quite closed up, you know, it's soft and flexible. So when it's in, it might not be like you know, open perfectly. So it might cause leakage if it's not open properly. So when you insert it in, like really in, you just have to like, you know, use your finger. I can only fit like one finger into my vagina. Lah. I don't know, I, I mean some of them can fit in like three, four fingers, but for me it's only one. So I will just, you know, like turn it with my finger when it's inside. Just make sure that you turn one round with it. You can feel it because um, there's a guiding line here. For first time users, in case you are afraid that the suction created by the menstrual cup in your vagina is too strong, you can release the suction by enlarging the air holes at the side with a, tweezers, with a pair of tweezers like this. Because you will see like, you know, small air holes at the side here. It's not so visible to the camera, but there will be two holes at the side. So you just enlarge the holes using your tweezers that will solve the problem a lot because it's like it will be easier for you to pull the menstrual cup out. Honestly, I do not think that the menstrual cup has caused me much discomfort. It feels very natural and it doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything throughout my period and um, I think that my stomach cramps has reduced because I do not feel the blood gushing out through my vagina into you know whatever the tampon or the sanitary pad so it's really very helpful it doesn't feel like I'm having menses at all during the past few days when I'm having my period I still can you know like jump around walk around very normally but there's only one thing that's bothering me which is the long stem because I have pretty low cervix and um, this stem would be like poking my the entrance of my vagina when I'm wearing it. Especially when I'm sitting down, right? This thing would be like, you know, they're poking me. So don't worry because you can always trim the stem down using a scissors. 
So depending on your comfort level, I trim all the way. I simply trim all the way because I tried trimming like one or two taps of it, it doesn't help. So I went all the way with it and I'm good. So um, this is my used <laughs> menstrual cup, how it looks like. I'm still using it, don't worry. And I, um, it's disinfected like. Don't worry, it's um, disinfected so it's not so dirty and you won't see like blood stains in it, right? It's very clean. So this is the menstrual cup that I've um, been using for the past two cycles. So I just trim it down like this and it's really comfortable. So once this menstrual cup is in your vagina, just below the cervix area, to collect the blood, it will be pretty full on your first two days of period. You have to monitor it yourself because for me, it can last up to 12 hours inside without any leaking. But you might have like extra heavy flow. I don't know. Because it's like for me, I only have like up to this much blood. So on my heavy days, when you remove it, you just have to like, you know, stick your finger up. You have to release the suction. So you have to punch down a bit. Like punch down a bit on the bottom because that's where I can't reach so I just press it down and you know you just press it as much as possible then you you feel that um, the suction is being released and you just wiggle 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 the thing will just you know slide it out so when it's more at the entrance of your vagina you can feel this bottom part just pinch it and grab it and pull it out so removal is just this simple so you just have to take deep breaths and relax when you can't get your cup out. It will come out eventually. Just like that, you have to release the suction, go. The main challenge faced when using the menstrual cup is, of course, during the insertion and the removal of the menstrual cup. But throughout the process, it's very comfortable. I would say it's easy breezy. All the key, the key for successful insertion and removal of the menstrual cup is to relax. You have to relax your vagina walls. Think about other things when you are inserting your finger in. And you just have to relax, take a deep breath, and insert it in. I mean, if it's, it gets too painful for you to insert it in, just give yourself a break. Like, you know, relax, have some Kit Kat, whatever, and before you try it again. Because it might hurt your vagina if you keep doing that and you produce too much friction with the cup. I think in the Asian context, most Asians are pretty reluctant to try processes which involve inserting things up your vagina because it's so not you, right? And also, it might have like you know impacts for your virginity because like in the very traditional Chinese family right um, during the bride's first night there must be like you know the breaking of the hymen and shedding of some blood to show that the girl is a virgin but let me tell you that even if you are a virgin on your first night you might not bleed because in the past most girls you know they get married at the age of 12 14 at the age of puberty essentially and they do not know what is sex all about and they just get married to a man which is like a lot older than themselves and during their first night they do not even know what is sex so they were like you know kind of like rape I would say so it was like maybe a forceful insertion that caused the breakage of the hymen because I, from what I know that our hymen is pretty elastic, it doesn't break or tear that easily. But it might break and tear even when you are really young, like maybe age 5, 6, any age, when you are doing like, you know, sports activities, including cycling. Yeah, you might just break your hymen without you even knowing it. So do not be alarmed if you do not, you know, bleed on your first night or when you lose your virginity. You are still a virgin and we love you. The virginity issue would not be that much of a um, problem when you use menstrual cups because I think that people progress with time 
and um, virginity is no longer like you know regarded as the paramount importance in marriage. The next disadvantage is about the removal of the menstrual cup from your vagina because it's like you have to pinch it right so when your cup is almost full there will be like tipping of the blood from the cup and when I pull it out right it might just burst open and the blood just ooze out so I'll be standing in the middle of a bloody bathroom like you know those horror movies <sighs> but it's okay it's your blood girl you just have to wash your menstrual cup and you know just wash just rinse the toilet floors it'll be fine so if you have like you know phobia seeing your own blood, you the menstrual cup might not be a, an option for you. This comes to an end of my sharing. I do hope you girls will find it really useful and educational. And do check out Panila's portal Chobo Cups. I'll leave it down in the link below. And rock on girls! <laughs>